March's look of the month features a pretty awesome look. Rose quartz. Tracy's gonna do it both acrylic, inset, and gel topical right now. Uh, we've had a lot of posts of like rose quartz or a nude smoky nail. So I thought that would be our look of the month this time, but we're gonna do it in two separate ways. We're gonna do it with acrylic and kind of encase it into the nail, put it in the nail. It's kind of a, a softer look, we'll see. Um, it's pretty beautiful. Monica, uh, a mentor in the UK, did a look, it's, it's gorgeous. I think we're gonna try that version. And then on top of that, we're gonna try, the second version is we're going to do a topical one, which you know I love to do because it's easy to remove that way. So we'll do it with more of Manicure White or Mission Control Fizz. Haven't really decided yet. When we get there, I'll decide. Um, but let's get started. So we're going to do this one with the acrylic for that one. I haven't used Rosebud in forever. Um, I don't know about you stuff, but I thought, let's try it. Why not? I know your other nails are not Rosebud. Forgive me, but we're gonna do Rosebud. Speed White and Speed Clear. I think these are my babies. This is what I'm going to use. Let's go ahead and prep. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna go ahead and use our Medium Grit um, Crosscut bit. Again, you can use your medium grit sandy band, whatever you prefer. Um, this is available and you know, as you know, I really, really love that bit. So we're gonna start by pushing back that cuticle, always real nice and quick. And let's get it set again, low speed, like 3000 RPMs. Don't need to go at her aggressively unless she upsets me today gonna go right tuck up into that cuticle. You can see all that stuff coming out. That's what we wanna see. That's why I start back there first. She has a little acrylic left on. That's okay. I'm gonna just go through. I can't complain. Steph was nice enough to remove her nail for me so I didn't have to. Remove the shine. Good to go. Off. Okay, we're gonna get a swipe. Make sure that nail is nice and cleansed. Dry brush it and I'm gonna just pump it with our clean brush. Make sure it's nice and clean. Okay, let's get our handy protein bond. Our liquid gold. Usually by the time you've cleansed all 10 fingers, you're ready to go. Doing one nail is always challenging. I don't know about you, Steph, but people would come in for a repair and I'm like, oh, I'd rather do a full set. Mm -hmm. This takes just as long. Okay, one time. So Monica, <laughs> she had some long stilettos. I don't know if you saw that stuff. Mm -hmm. um, we won't make you walk around uh, balanced. So we're not gonna go that long, but I do love that kind of shape on you. So let's get you on. Make sure everything's tucked under. Nice and little pointed. Kind of match your other fingers. We're gonna grab our table towel so we have something to wipe on. Guys, so, so important. Um, we actually ran out of these table towels and Steph and I have been dying because we've been using paper towels instead and they don't remove the acrylic and all of our brushes have been gunked up and it's finally, finally we have them and finally we can clean our brushes. Ah, so nice. Okay, let's see which one. So I think I did do a little tester real quick just to see what kind of brush I liked. And I think I liked for the kind of swirl part, I liked using the smaller brush. It just kind of gave me thinner lines. And what we're gonna do is we're going to double dip. We're gonna grab the pink. We're gonna grab our white. I have it on both sides. I'm gonna place the pink side down first because I want those white lines nice and thin. And I just kind of roll through it. Blend it out where I want. That's what I love about this look is it's kind of just that really beautiful smoky. There is no right or wrong reason to it. Oh, I like that. 
I'm gonna grab a little bit of pink and put it in the back. Right there. Let's do another double dip. Let's go up this way. And I'm just kind of rolling it. Ooh, I think I'm in love. Blend that spot so you don't see that gap. And what I liked about Monica's look, and I've seen it in a couple different ways where it's full coverage, but she had that kind of sheerness to it too. There were some clear spots, so I think really might hit a little white right where the um, natural nail is so we don't see it. And kind of get a little more depth with our vein. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right there, and a little pink. And that way we don't see that line. Ooh, I like it. Okay, once we have that, we kind of have it where we want it. A little more up here. This is where I start getting carried away. And this is where I have to walk away. <laughs> I'm listening to my own advice, walk away. Once I have the look, I'm not gonna build it up where I'm gonna file everything off. Once I have the look, I keep it nice and thin and then I cap it in clear. It's kind of like doing mylar or glitter or anything like that. Once I get the look, I stop, grab my clear, get my strength. Okay, this time I am gonna go to my bigger brush and let's get a good amount in the back so I think I'm gonna start right about there because we're pretty thick enough right where the cuticle area is pull it forward yeah give ourselves a nice little arch and we have glitter oh I love that when that happens let's play the chicken game of pecking them out or we just tell the customer Look, I gave you some glitter for free. No charge this time. Okay. That's why it's really important to have two different dappin' dishes, Tracy. You know this. One for glitter, one for everything else. That way you don't have to stress about it. And I never take my own advice. Okay, just making sure we have enough strength. I think I'll just give her a little... I am doing a lot of pearls today. First acrylic of the day. First acrylic of the week, actually. Okay. So, guys, I'm gonna let this dry. I'm gonna take a look at the sides so I make sure that I am not missing anything on her. Um, and we will let this set up and get started on the other side. Okay, so I thought about it and played with it. And I think we're just going to use Mission Control Fizz to do the smoky nail on topical version. We're going to grab our swipe handy. We have our white. And we are just going to put it down kind of like random lines. And wipe the excess off. And we're just going to get a little swipe on our brush. And that will kind of push make that smoky look we can kind of smear it technical way of doing it wherever we want i like to blend out the edges add a little bit more here to give us a stronger edge and it's that simple i like it and then right here. Yep. Okay. Let's cure it. Easy. Cure out for 60 seconds. I'm going to pull her out. We're going to go ahead and I'm going to take my protein bond. I'm just going to hit everything before I top coat. That way I know that my top coat will stick. No problem. Okay, let's get our top coat on all these. Get a good, healthy. 
healthy amounts so it kind of floats over those lines and makes them nice and smooth. Acrylic one. We're going to stick these in the light. I will cleanse the sticky layer off and we'll show you the final shot. <laughs> 